Hey guys, welcome to the channel again. Uh, let me show you guys these eyepieces. I really, really liked these eyepieces back then when I got started in the 90s. Um, and I think these were even popular probably till about 98, 99 until more wide angle eyepieces became available. But these were really good. This is, as you can see, the Mead 4000 series, Super Palazzo. Now, a lot of people also liked uh, Mead back then, also had the 3000 series Palazzo, and then these were called the Super Palazzo. Now, what's so, or what's the diff, excuse me, what is the difference between the Mead 3000 Palazzo or a regular Palazzo and the Super Palazzo? And as you could tell back then, what I like the versions is with the mead when they made it like the orange or uh, yellow uh, lettering. Instead now, they still, they brought back these eyepieces, but I don't think they're quite as good. And they kind of have more uh, white uh, name on it, but um, they're, they're probably okay, but I just, I don't know why. I just get a feeling that they're not as good as what they were back in, back in. Anyway, when I first got started in the hobby in the 90s, these are what I uh, not started with. I started with, uh, with the store that I bought uh, my telescope from. Uh, I actually started with the Mead MA uh, eyepieces were just a, a modified Acromat, and I believe they're three element and a 40 degree field of view. I then upgraded uh, to these. Now back then, every magazine, like I used to read Sky and Telescope and Astronomy Magazine every month, both of them. And of course, Mead used to you know, advertise on both. And these were like, they were hitting it hard. And these were a really good seller. But I remember back then in the 90s, uh, this is what I got after to replace the MAs and these were like $149.99 Canadian before tax with tax was like $171 each and I would buy just one a month because it, that was pretty expensive. Now you can probably find them brand new for about $55. Bucks. Uh, just oh, the difference now. Uh, so um, if, if you guys are thinking <laughs> Like eyepieces are expensive now, sure there are, but the hobby is really more affordable than it was in the 80s and 90s, that's for sure. Um, anyway, um, so that's uh, the ones I really liked. Um, so anyway, so let me tell you a little bit about this. So a super palazzo compared to a regular palazzo, so this would be like a 52 degree field of view. It pretty much maxes out uh, on, on there. Uh, besides going to wide uh, field eyepieces type of thing. But anyway, these are 52 degree field of view with a four element in here. Now, yes, uh, Mead made five element super palazzos and that stuff, but I'm not talking about those. I'm just talking about these. And these were very good eyepieces. As you can see, uh, almost all of them come with a rubber eye cup. So it's either uh, to block the stray light coming in However, if you wear glasses or if you didn't like the rubber cup um, up like that, you can just fold them down. Um, it does have a rubber knurled part here, so you have a good grip if, if you have gloves. It's all metal construction. Uh, it's threaded for filters, it's blackened edges. So the, again, they were very good eyepieces. Um, now, pretty good eye relief as well. That's how close to the lens your eye is. The only one that's a, a little tight that I would say I didn't like and I don't have here is the 6.3 Super Palazzo. The lens is just way too tiny. The, uh, it's just really hard to look through. As you can see, um, it's actually very common for most eyepieces besides expensive kind uh, for their, the lens to get uh, smaller and smaller the higher power you go so that's normal so the only one again that I didn't like too much is the 6.3 super palazzo the like I said the eye relief was just a little too tiny um, and uh, the lens as well uh, the only other one that I also don't actually I don't have every single one I don't think I have the 20 uh, yeah the 20 millimeters well 
I do have the 40 millimeter, but not on me right now because I don't like it. I, I, I'm probably going to sell it off. And it's not because it's a bad eyepiece. Um, it's just that every inch and a quarter that's 40 millimeter eyepiece, um, you can't have, like for instance, all of these are 52 degree field of view. You cannot make a 40 millimeter inch and a quarter eyepiece uh, with that kind of field of view, unless you, you know, uh, make an expensive eyepiece. Uh, it can't be in an inch and a quarter format. It has to be in the two inch. Um, so any 40 millimeter in the inch and a quarter format always uh, maxes out in about 40 to 44 degree field of view. So really it's almost the same thing if you have a 32 millimeter uh, eyepiece that has a 52 degree field of view and a 40 millimeter that has a 40 to 44 degree field of view. It's almost virtually the same thing. So a lot of people usually would go only as high as a 32 in an inch and a quarter format. So that definitely is also normal too. But some people, if they like the 40, uh, that's great too. The eye relief is huge. Uh, you get a little less power than like a 32, but of course your field of view um, is like 10, 15% less, but that's a trade-off. So anyway, uh, this video was really about what I think of these eyepieces. Again, Mead makes a new version that has white letters instead of a um, uh, yellow or orange letter letters. And I think these were just better made, better constructed by, back then. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you guys want to comment below. Do you think the new Mead 4000 series is as good as the old uh, ones with the orange yellow writing? Comment below and tell me, you guys tell me. Um, th that's really it. So um, the only ones that I would say would be comparable to this now uh, would be like the Celestron Omni. I think they're very good eyepieces as well. Uh, virtually in the same category, same price range. Uh, I, you could probably find them, uh, you know, depending on focal length, you know, uh, 40 to $60 maybe, depending what country and what currency you're talking about, of course. Um, I usually talk about uh, Canadian funds on my channel because I'm from Canada uh, type of thing and um, this set does come with the the case it, it also did come with a Barlow I don't really like the Barlow or I don't really like using Barlows at all uh, type of thing come with some planetary filters and a moon filter uh, it's stuff that I already have anyway but um, anyway uh, that's what these are I would definitely recommend if you guys can get yourself uh, a set of these. Now, these are way better than what uh, like Skywatcher gives with the entry level called the Super Eyepieces, you know, the Kellners, the, the Huygens, that type of thing. These are just 100 times better than those. So I would normally recommend for new people, um, if you can get into a Palazzo or a Super Palazzo light piece, that's all you really need. Uh, the only time maybe you could use something more expensive is really if you want something more wide field of view. That's really about it. Uh, but 52 degree field of view is fairly decent type of thing. Um, anyway guys, that's my video, the Mead 4000 uh, series. I like them. Uh, back then, I, I'm not saying only Mead was good. Celestron had some good ones. Antares had some, you know, good. I'm just, but today's video is about the Mead 4000 series. I like the ones with the orange yellow lettering. Uh, really like it. I give it a two thumbs up uh, back then. And like I said, they were very expensive. 171 bucks each eyepiece back then. Now you can probably get them for about 50, 55 bucks each. But uh, that's just how it goes in the hobby. So anyway, guys, uh, Joe Jaguar out. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next video. Cheers.